Hello folks, we're back again and today we're going to play Fire Tower. This is a very early um, crowdfunding game. I'm mm -hmm. pretty sure it was Kickstarter. Yeah, sure, it was Kickstarter. And <laughs> they've actually done, they've done this one. They've done uh, Rising Flames is the expansion, which I also mm -hmm. picked up on crowdfunding. And just recently, they just had this little kind of a mini expansion with sort of premium, uh, premium components. So they replaced... Uh, and it's kind of silly in a way, but they they replaced the, their little wind direction with a foiled wind direction card. This is the same as it is on that one, but it is thicker. It's a much mm. thicker cardboard. This is just a you know a piece of paper, and it's got this nice foil to it, which is uh, pretty cool. And we'll go ahead and put that in the same direction. Here. Super premium, super deluxe. <laughs> they also included uh, they. Originally, they had this little plastic die, and now we have this metal die, which is quite quite substantial and, and mm -hmm. nice. Yeah, yeah, that feels really nice. That's a that that is a definite uh, deluxe upgrade compared to the original. <laughs> this one's funny because it's just the. <laughs> I feel like this would be a normal component for most games, the yeah. cardboard, but the die is definitely nice. Well, this is definitely that kind of Simon grade, you know, cardboard like they'd have on mm -hmm. like a dashboard or something. Right. And you'd pay yeah. a little extra and you'd get the. It's funny because I've got the exact same scenario going on in Onk and Blood Rage and everything else. Or you got the like thicker cardboard as, as an expansion. Yeah. It. <laughs> but it's just this one tile, you know, so it's very many. It's premium. The other thing is uh, their fire break tokens. Uh, the. <laughs> They're not a whole lot bigger, but they're they are bigger firebreak tokens, and they have a little bit of uh, screen printing on them that I'm sure you won't be able to see. <laughs> I might have to like uh, help you out a little bit with these premium components up there, where you can appreciate them. Appreciate the primo upgrades. I think that even went in focus. Nice. So you can. See. Okay. There, there we go. And now we have a hole in the board. <laughs> <laughs> Did it damage yeah. it? Oh, that's fine. Yeah, no, I was just joking. But yeah, this this thing, uh, this die, uh, because it is so heavy. I was saying that to Sean. Uh, just like any metal die, I mean, if you're banging this around on cardboard, you will tear it up. So <laughs> you need to have uh, probably a neoprene mat that you're playing on to make that uh, nice. But it does feel super nice to roll on a on a neoprene mat. Yeah, it'll be fun. It'll be yep. fun. Uh, I like that. In fact, why don't you go ahead and roll it? Let's determine our fire's direction. All right. Let's see here. This this card goes in the deck somewhere. Let's just toss it in. Oh well, we got it. Not yet. Not yet. Oh, do I need that out? Yeah. Oh, the back burn. No. Oh, is that just a back? Oh, never mind. Okay. I thought you had something else. Okay. <laughs> I think it was just something we were going over the game with earlier. Okay, so. This is we have North. This is Owen's first game, and we are uh, we're just kind of going through. It. Mm -hmm. I played it a bunch with Holly, but it actually has been a little while for me. Mm -hmm. And I went ahead and threw in a bunch of a whole bunch of expansions just, just to make it even harder to film. Just to complicate, <laughs> yeah. We're playing yeah. with the Rising Flames expansion, and uh, it's got Firehawks. Uh, we're each going to start with a Firehawk. We can place one. In our quadrant, you want to place a firehawk? I want to put mine right there. I'll put mine right here then. If uh oh, it did dent it. <laughs> uh, it if ever uh if ever a uh, a fire would be placed in a place where a firehawk uh, is, they can just kind of fly with it away and mm -hmm. put it someplace else. The other thing that happens is every time the firehawks are are placed or they move around, uh, they you get to rearrange where your firehawks are. Otherwise, they have to stay there on the board. But if I was to use mine, like if it came and I flew around, you would get to rearrange where yours is. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. That's one more thing to explain. Mm -hmm. uh, this has uh, this is a really simple rule set, but there mm -hmm. is um, there is a few things. And I'm not going to bother explaining it. They got a cool little four-minute video that explains mm -hmm. exactly how to play this. Uh, we're just going to play it. And, uh, and maybe you'll get something out of it. I hope you do. If we make a mistake, and I'm sure I will make a mistake. <laughs> I'm 100% certain it will happen. I'll make a note of it if I notice it down in the comments below. And of course, you're welcome to do the same. So uh, what we have to do first is deal out 
Uh, normally it would be five cards a person, but we're going to do six because that's another thing uh, with the expansion and adding the Firehawk cards as we did. Uh, we're supposed to add more. Did that that is five. And six. Thank and you. six. All right. So after we do that, then we're going to take these events and we're going to sneak them back into the deck. And uh, I'm going to put one right there. I'm going to put one right there. And then I'm going to just randomly put another one in. Okay. I think I did that wrong. That's fine. It doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, I think we'll still get the gist of how the game plays either way. We've also got the little mini buckets. So we got little wooden buckets. And, uh, and, uh, <laughs> full of water gems. <laughs> All kinds of other stuff. So we've, you've determined the wind. It's going north. So, uh, the fire is going to extend from the eternal fire. Is that what they call eternal it? Eternal flame. Eternal flame. So it goes in both sides, like, like this? No, you just add one. Just one. Okay, I wasn't sure if they... Any, any position you want. Uh, well, I mean, at this point, do I get to pick? Because I'd want it closer to you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do you want to go first? Well, I'll let you go first since you know the game. Okay. And that's, that's how I usually go when I'm learning a new game or if I'm teaching a game, I'll go first, but... So north. To the north. So, mm. well, okay. I'm going to put the farthest away so it just ends up in the same spot. And then I'm going to um, I'm going to change the wind direction to southwest. This will be our discard pile. Fire by southwest. All right. Change the direction of the wind to south or west so I can pick. I'm going to mm -hmm. click south. Or roll the die and choose a new wind direction. Or place the fire gem somewhere. Uh, southwest of another. So uh, I guess that lets you place it diagonally then at that point. Yeah. Okay. So, but that doesn't actually move the fire just yet. Or does it? Do we need to? So now it's your. Uh, so now I've placed. I uh, played a card and I draw. Uh, don't forget to draw up your hand after okay. you play your card. Now you get to. Have, you must place a fire gem on the south side, someplace. Okay. So let's place it right here then. All right. Uh, so when do we when do we roll this die again? There are direction cards that will give you the option to roll the die or just okay. change it to wherever you want. Okay. So, but th we only roll the die normally just at the very beginning. There'll be, okay. uh, and then unless when a firestorm comes out, we'll also be rolling it okay. for that too. Okay. Hmm. But most of the time you'll, it'll, the wind will change because somebody wanted it to go a certain way, but you might not have the card you need it to. <laughs> like mm -hmm. You might have all the cards might point the wind at you. So, uh, if that's the case, then... Now, when our Firehawks, again, when they move the fire, uh, they're going to actually like have to still be connected to whatever fire is there that they're right. placing their things uh, at. Okay. They'll have to place it adjacent to something. Hmm. <clears throat> hmm. There's a lot of options here. And I think... I'll hang on to that for right now. We'll, uh, we'll just go ahead and start getting, let's see, eight, some surrounding fire damage must remain, okay. Okay, let's, uh, let's just go ahead and place uh, down, I'll just make this the discard pile here, and uh, we'll place down burning snag. Okay. So um, now I could I could use this as a point of reference for where that's at. Yep, this doesn't adhere to any kind of wind or anything like that. You just make that pattern as long as it's adjacent to something else. Okay. And one of them can be adjacent or both of them. 
Okay, well, let's uh, let's go ahead and put them right here. I can do that. That's legal. All right. Then I'll draw a card. All right. So we still have the fire going south. So I can put this right here. And I'm going to play rolling fire firebrand move a pair of fire gems two spaces in the same direction north east west or whatever so they're going one two the logs are rolling downhill uh oh fire on the mountain run birds run <laughs> okay We still have, hmm. all right, I'm going to play down a scratch line. So that means I'm going to put down two fire break tokens anywhere I want to. Might as well go ahead and put them like that. Uh, right. Not anywhere I want to in this pattern, but yeah. All right. And I'll draw a card. I I want to do something similar. So I can place one or I can remove one. I'm going to put one right there. Okay. I'm going to... And I want that, that wind direction to change. Um, I'll uh, I'll go ahead and do another burning snag. Uh, don't forget to place a gem. Oh, that's right. I think uh, I forgot. To, I might have forgot to place a gem. I just placed just one? Yeah, in the direction. All right. Um, like, I forgot to place one, I think, when I did mine earlier. So there's one for me. Okay. No, uh, wait. I did it. I know you did once. I didn't do it for the deforest. Yeah, one. okay. Because okay. you've taken a couple turns. Um, well, let's just place it right here. Okay. Um, oh, I didn't place my burning snag yet. Uh, so let's go ahead and start moving it down this direction. Oof. Getting hot in here. Oh, no. So hot. So hot, so hot it burns. So hot it burns. Okay. Hmm. I want to make it. Oh, here's my southern. I want to make the wind go to the east. No. Whoa. Okay, hmm. So uh, these can pick up fire. When can we move these? Uh, you can rearrange it if someone else moves or if fire is to touch it. If a fire touches it, okay. Okay. And there are cards in there to lay down more of them. Well, let's go ahead and put down a pair of hawks. Ooh. That's a bingo. And we'll put them right in front of the fire. Okay. Since we're going east. They're like, mmm, yummy fire. Can't wait. Oh, I didn't put, I forgot. Uh, let's just. To the east. Let's just put a. Uh, yeah, let's just put it right here. This one's right here, right? Okay. Yeah. And draw a card. Jeez, my hand is uh, not very uh, varied. 
All right. And types, anyways. Uh, so I'm placing a gem. My hand is also not very varied. <laughs> I have not had much on the form of offense. Yeah. And I think I have all the cards that you would secretly like to have. Probably. And you probably have all the cards I would like to have. That's how it goes. I'm going to play... He... Uh... Hell attack. Hell attack. Is that what that says? Hell attack. Take out... These... Draw what I'm sure is the offensive card I've been hoping for. All right, I gotta keep going east. It's my far. So let's just place it right here. And what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Well. Yeah, let's just do something simple, I guess. We'll uh, play down uh, airdrop, and I'll I'll just I'll just clear off these two, I guess. Uh, don't forget with your bucket, you can use that extra one to put a piece of water there. Oh yeah, but I'd have to put it in the same pattern, so I'd yeah. put it like right here. Okay, that's probably worthwhile. That's better than nothing. That's better than no things. Huh. So with this little, <laughs> with these little bucket expansions, if you don't fill up the whole pattern for your water, you can add these little tokens. Make it more useful for you. Plus they're cool little buckets. <laughs> Alrighty. Did you they draw are cool out? little buckets. I do like those. It's very cute with the thematic little blue gems inside of them too. <laughs> I did not draw up. So, yeah, I did move the, I did move the fire though. I feel like I'm going to definitely forget that at some point here. Yeah, I can't believe I, I forgot like three turns in. All right. <laughs> uh, east. East really fire. Sneaking. East? I thought you said weast. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And uh, I'm going to do a crown fire. Crown fire. I'm going to put them like this. Ah. No. <laughs> Just going around your firebox <laughs> the best I can. I see that. I see that. I see. I see. Well. Hmm. That's not going to work for me. So I need to put one out east. I need this wind to change. <laughs> um, uh, we'll just put it right here. All right. And I guess. <laughs> this is going to be stupid. Uh, I'll play another pair of hawks down. I'll put them right there. It's a hawk army. <laughs> like, come on. Come on, fire. It's chilly up in here. Draw a card. Gosh, man, this hand. I mean, I guess it's not terrible. It's just not exciting. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I want to place a fire token right here on that fire hawk. So you'll. You okay. Can, you can activate it. So then, now, re remind us, so this can go anywhere, and it it picks the fire up. And it flies to any anywhere else on the board and lays it down adjacent to another piece of fire. Okay. So I guess we'll bring it over here and drop it down, and now... Then it just goes off the board. He goes off the board. And then you can rearrange your firehawks. Right. So now I can take mine and go, well, I'll put you right there. 
Okay. And I'm going to play pair of Firehawks. Place two Firehawks on empty spaces in your quadrant of the board. So. <clears throat> Protect the land, Firehawks. Uh -huh. All right, did you draw your card? No. And then I'm going to go east again because we are stuck on our wind directions. Now, could I place, I could place it into a Firehawk if I wanted to, of mine? Yeah. If I wanted to. If it's east. I don't, yeah. I don't think I want you got to. A lot just, of east options. I don't there. think I want to just yet. I'll just place it right there. Whoops. And so remind me when you're placing a firebreak token, you cannot place it adjacent to another firebreak token. Yeah. Okay. You can place the ones in the pattern, like for the dozer line has two right together, I believe. Mm hmm But um <clears throat> Well, I'll I'll go ahead and uh, place one down. I'll I'll place it right here. All right. And I'll draw a card. So east fire. This. Okay. And. Let's go ahead and turn the wind. Yeah, let's turn that wind south. All right, so now I'm placing. Yeah. Let's go ahead and put the south down there. I'll do it like that so you can see it. And we'll make a scratch line. Let's put them um, right here and right here. Jeez. Okay. I'm just thinking this looks so interesting, this direction. I want to reset my camera and put one that way. I'm sorry. You want to <clears> just, remember, just remember it's my turn. You want to just totally pause or, re or reset? Okay. Yeah. Here. So I'm going to place uh, to the south. We're still south. And then I'm going to... Explode around my crap. I was thinking about it. Bring it on. I'm going to do a flare-up. I don't want to send it this way. Which direction are we in? South? Yeah. Okay. Okay. We're going south still, so let's uh, put it your side of the board. And um, might as well. <laughs> this is so stupid. Three more firehawks. <laughs> And uh, let's put them uh, here. We'll put one here. And we'll put one. We'll put one right here. <laughs> it's like a whole flock. Uh, okay, and then I'll draw a card. Jesus. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh Lord! I'm gonna show my hand on the camera here. <laughs> this is it's it's this. This is what I'm dealing with. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I'm like this. All right, I'm going to place my fire. And <laughs> well, hawked out here. He's got one right by the eternal flame there, you can, or a couple, I guess. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna put one right here. And have you move it? Okay. And we shall move it. Let's see. I guess we'll just put it right here since we're sticking with Sal still. All right. 
And huh. I'm going to oh. rearrange mine just a little bit here. Okay. And I'm going to play Smoke Jumper. So Smoke Jumper and the fire I'm going to mm -hmm. center on is going to be right here. Okay. So that stays. But all these, these spaces that wouldn't be clear. I'm putting water on. Okay. You, get, you get three oh, of them yeah. you can allocate. So I'm gonna, That's nice. Oh, okay. So shiny. All right. Uh, one more. This one. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, that too. Good time to do that. <laughs> Yeah, then it's... You placed your fire... Your, yeah, you did. I did. Yeah, yeah, that was the Firehawk. Okay. Uh, so let's keep them on your side of the board again. So we'll play down airdrop, clear off these three. All right. Ooh. All right. Okay. This is a weird one. So, I'm placing my fire to the south. Oh, boy. I need some of those anti-fire break tokens. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm going to do um, explosion. So, ex Whoa. explosion Whoa. is going to turn one of these fire things into a fire break token. So, I need to, I need to pick a fire some place man is, you know what that is <laughs> that is not optimal the firehawks are everywhere boy firehawks are just going strong yeah they're like please um Give i want to play flames. creeping fire so this one i place Ooh. three but they can't be they have to be orthogonally adjacent to something but not each other so I'm going to send this Firehawk away. Wait, how far down does it go? Oh, two. How does that work? They... It's th th three separate ones, but they can't touch each other. So I could... Oh, you can do it in any line that you want. Yeah. Okay. So I'm putting one in the same space as this guy and one in the same space as this guy. So you'll get to fly two hogs out. <clears throat> I see. Okay. Um... So go ahead and put those two pieces wherever you want to put them. Yeah. Okay. I guess <laughs> I guess we'll just put uh, this one right here. We'll just kind of work our way around, and we'll put. I guess we'll just, yeah, we'll just put that right there. All right. Is that my go? Yep. Did you draw any your card? Yep. We're still going south. So I guess we'll just put it right there. And I'm going to go ahead and do... Rolling fire brand. <laughs> and so we can move them any two directions or any two two spaces in the same direction. So we go one, two. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Did I That's not fun. Did I put a south fire down? That turn? Uh, I can't remember. I, th mm, I don't know if I did. I know I was gonna forget that at some point. I may not have. I can't think of where I would have done it at. I don't think I did. It wasn't this one that. Maybe it was. Yeah, that's that's. I think that's what it was. Yeah. Because I, I think there was just one I here. Think it, yeah, yeah. That's where I put it. That's what it was. All right. I'm going. I'm going right here. So, I'm going to do the explosion. He's like, the fire's so close. 
given you somehow another firebreak token. I guess because that's a crater now, so it can't burn anymore. It didn't actually do too much, but it kind of got past all that stuff. Mm. <clears throat> okay, I need to put down... Can your Firehawks drop them in the tower? No. Well, they could drop it adjacent, so yeah, I guess they could. Well, they can... Okay, yeah, so it could drop it adjacent to that thing. Yeah. Shoot. All right. Well, I guess we'll put the heat on you. And we'll drop it into my Firehawk here. And move him... And drop one in. Okay. So I'm sure that's probably not going to last very long, but. Ooh. I wish I had something cooler to do. There's still no, nothing southerly to put because of all the firebreak tokens and stuff over there. Yeah, there's. <clears throat> I'll slot it in there, I guess. Um, I'm going to play Creeping Fire. Oh. Put one there. Put one there. I'll put one here. Okay. Well, I guess it wouldn't be a bad time. To go ahead and place a hell attack and take these ones out. Oh, I need to put a token down still. Uh, I'll just keep them over close to you here. Thank you. Okay. Wait. Draw back up. Something's goofy. I've got too many cards. How many do you have now? Or did I just draw a card right after that? Maybe. <laughs> do you have six? I've got six right now. I'll just stay at that then. Okay. I'll play with seven cards this round. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I mean, I did play a card last turn, didn't I? Did Maybe I, it's sometimes it's easy to get. Did ahead. I just did I just move the fire over there and not play a card? No, because I drew that right after that. I think I might have. I think I might have done your fire hawk move and then forgot to play. Forgot a card. to play a card. Yeah, I think, <laughs> I think I may have. Oh well, let's just say that that was a missed opportunity. <laughs> oh no! If okay. only you'd remembered, That's but now okay. you didn't. So okay, so it's my turn again. And the fire's still south. Ooh. I guess I forget there's that whole thing where you can drop cards down. But we'll do a little just... flare up. No. no. Okay. So we'll just keep them going over here. I'll keep it here. Whatever. Doesn't really matter. <laughs> and I'll... Oh. Well, crap. Would this just win the game? Put a burning snag adjacent to you. Oh, I believe you did. Scary quick. <laughs> you got me. Uh, I should have taken it off of my bucket. Uh, I was waiting to. I was thinking about doing it next turn. Oh, you got me. Burning snag. Burning snag. We didn't even snag get you. to the event. We didn't. 
Now that came out quick. Well, I wouldn't know if I needed to be, be defensive myself or just put the heat on you. I didn't think I was going to get to you. Two more right. cards and we would have had one of the events. The full moon. Oh. oh, well. Well, like you said, it does play pretty quick. Yeah. It's like 20 minute game or something like that. Something else they introduced with the expansion, the burning. Do you think I could remember it? Five minutes, you know? But the Rising Flames expansion, another thing they added is. Uh, so a big problem with four players is player elimination. Because mm -hmm. you can see where two people might go at it longer. than, right. Or somebody just kind of get real unfortunate. Yeah. And, and get their stuff burned out. And then they're stuck. Well, there's another card in there. And every time it comes out, then uh, th those players get to go. They call it Shadow of the Woods or something mm -hmm. like that. So all the eliminated players will get to roll a dice on their turn and, uh, and do whatever the result is. So they can start... King, so they could continue King playing. Moves, yeah. They they could continue. Yeah, they could king make kind yeah. of as a yeah. and and they can decide as a team if they want to work together or work individually with their the shadow. Okay, yeah. And uh, they'll go on to to fight. So that's fun. Yeah, I could almost see. Do they have a mode in there too, where you just do teams and you just do two versus two? Oh, versus, I can't remember. I, I'd imagine you could just set that up yourself and just do. And there's two, two. well, and there's a there's a solo mode too. So somehow you, I haven't tried it. But oh, you can well. play this on your own too somehow. Oh well, I wonder how the heck that works. Yeah. Well, I guess it's simple enough movements. They just keep creeping your direction as much as possible. Well, really, we kind of barely touched. We only got mm -hmm. halfway through the deck. It was just I just didn't play very well. <laughs> well <laughs> I got all, I got no water cards. Like there was no water cards for me. Those were all my cards for water cards. I, so, I, a I, mistake. Yeah. A mistake. A real. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. I was. I had. I had that when I showed that hand. See. So yeah. You had the manipulation. What I should have done though is I should have dumped all these cards. I kept. I for, mm. kind of forgot for a moment. I did. Too. I could have dumped all these cards and gotten like a whole handful of stuff. The, I don't know if I would have. Maybe I would have dumped. No, I don't know. I mean, I don't know if I would have actually ever dumped at any point on my. Because these are nice for defense, but. Yeah, between that and all the Firehawk stuff, yeah, it was had, really difficult to get anything I had, over there. I had seven Firehawks I was able to put out. <laughs> and all that, all those fire breaks really quick. Um, but yeah, so uh, for me, this being like the first uh, game that I played of this, I, 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 uh, it's neat. Um, you know, as a first impressions, it kind of uh, it it feels like a uh, a dueling game. You know, you've got the the different all those card actions that you're doing. You're just one one on. Well, of course, you could go with the four player game, but as we were playing uh, this one on one kind of duel. Um, it's neat. Uh, I, you know, the the best thing about this game, from from my perspective, is the way it looks. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like it looks really neat, and that draws you in in a way that like would want keep you wanting to play the game that otherwise has uh, pretty pretty simple mechanisms on it. It's fun the different um, like like way that you're able to you got to uh, manipulate those patterns that you're doing all the time it's all, all these little patterns that are going on on the board and things that you can do so there's some fun little situations and ways that you can uh you know be ready like there were times where i was like well i'll just let the fire build up before i get ready to do something that's going to wipe a bunch of it out um so there's some some neat little uh, strategic choices that you're you're taking from that but uh but i enjoyed it though it's it's it, i think the other thing that's super nice is that it's a quick game. Like yeah, it's, it's great to have a game that's gonna play out uh, in a and and be able to fill that filler role. You know, it's nice to have a good. Fill, it's you know, there's a lot of filler games out there that aren't that great, <laughs> or you don't really you know like <laughs> they're true. like yeah, it's a filler game, but I mean it also sucks. <laughs> uh, this this would be a a fine uh, filler game to throw in. This is this is a great one too for uh, for families and stuff because mm -hmm. the rule set I think is pretty simple. Yeah, uh, we were playing with a, a bunch of. The extra stuff and it didn't really feel like a bunch of extra stuff no, you know, it's simple to add but in. you could take those fire hawks out you could take there's a mm -hmm. there's a bunch of number of extra cards in here like new cards from the expansions that we added in and mm -hmm. stuff uh there are events not that we got to play yeah. <laughs> we didn't get to any of those like there's a firestorm event where you add fire all the way around i was like oh i thought that was about to happen yeah at any moment and i was my next move was going to take the bucket to take these three out which would have saved me uh, uh, if I'd done it last turn. 
Is that and, how the uh, bucket where it can extend outside of your so long, tower? Yeah, so long as one of them's inside. So as soon as you put that one there, I could have used my bucket and then uh, yeah. taken these three out. But um, yeah, It's a hard choice to make. I guess I had that fire snag or that burning snag for a moment. So I, I knew I wanted to just go ahead and dump it into that space. But I thought I, I didn't realize I was actually going to be able to get you with it until I saw that right at the last minute. You did. Yeah. You did indeed. Worked out. Um, but yeah, it's neat. I'm glad I got to I'm glad I got to play it because I've heard you know a bit about it. I've, I've certainly seen the name mentioned quite a bit. And it's, I've got a bit of nostalgia. Yeah. This was one of my earliest videos on this channel. Oh really? Oh, like cool. uh, one of the one of the from about the, I guess the first year or so that I started making yeah. videos here. Uh, they're one of the very few. Uh, Runaway Parade is one of the very few creators to like put put me up on their website and stuff like that, yeah, or they, it, yeah. that, that video. So it's, it's, uh, uh, I'm real happy with it. I, I love, I love their game. I'm always happy to add to it. Uh, all these <laughs> expansions and stuff you've added are neat. Uh, I like the premium thing. Uh, I, I know I made fun of the little cardboard board a little bit, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I, I like it. I think it's really neat. And it does, and funny, it is like a direct correlation between like all the stuff I've bought. Cause I went, I just went down with Onk and chase down all the thicker cardboard like things uh -huh. and I'm like why <laughs> why do I need that but uh but uh yeah I yeah. like the little ten dollar expansion mm -hmm. there I can't remember yeah. I can't remember what the burnt rising flames expansion cost but it actually added this big uh oh. fire in the middle also so uh, normally you just play with the one on the board pretty yeah good. normally you just put uh, some fire tokens there so this it well, kind of makes it a little nicer i mean in a game that's supposed to have this kind of like shiny standout uh, presence that uh that's that's nice that's really nice to have on the board i think um yeah i mean it, like it immediately like makes the board look pretty dull in comparison to when you actually have the big bonfire in the middle isn't that cool creeping up off of it yeah that's neat there's something about these very commonly used uh, gems that just I don't know what it is but they just look cool they look like I don't know raw gems mined out of a rock um, seen this in several games you know one of the I got uh, the, the the century golem series the three games with oh, yeah. they use these big uh, colorful chunky gems in that as well I really really enjoy better than the original uh, uh, spice road series there of century where it's just little wooden uh, cubes or whatever they're using. But it's a fun like game. It. Uh, it showed up for sale at the Target uh, buy two, get one free. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. on that. Uh, so yeah. uh, for an indie game, it's a, kind of easy to come by. It's on Amazon too. Yeah, it's neat when you see a game, like you said, with the nostalgia of having backed it. And then now he's, you, you see this in all of the big box stores and everything too, which I'm pretty sure I've even seen it at Walmart before too. Oh, before really? I think I have. So they've kind of creeped in everywhere, you know. It's nice to see. It's nice to see like a, a, a Stone Meyer has been able to get their games into a lot of spaces too. So it's kind of it's kind of fun to see these these better games coming out into the the public the public space. I guess they're always in the public <laughs> space, but you know, like more than just the niche board game market. Yeah, more than just like that little board game store on the side mm -hmm. of the railroad yeah. tracks in the bad Which part they, of town. They probably say the opposite. They're probably like, damn it. <laughs> Quit hor horning in on our business. We want all the good ones for ourselves. They still have probably the best one. Yeah, I mean, they definitely have the, the best ones in general for themselves still. Uh, but it's great for the hobby to see those showing up in the big box stores. It so, is. Yeah. So, uh, great game, Runaway Parade. I, I really like it. Great job. And uh, if you like playthroughs like this, you should click like on this one and then join us over here at this playlist for yet more playthroughs where mm -hmm. Owen and I tackle different things. And, and over here, something YouTube thinks you'll like. Uh, we both have YouTube channels. You're on mine right now, but Owen's got one called Organic Cardboard. Mm -hmm. Feel free to subscribe. We'd love to see you there. Until next time, enjoy your games. We'll see you soon. Bye. Bye-bye.